what does open sourcing GitHub Copilot mean for Cursor and, and Windsurf? Like they forked the editor. So you're saying have the rest as well? You know, what, what, is it, what happens there? But when I think about this, could they take whatever we have, put a new batch on it, and say this is this is now ours and mark it under, under their name. Sure, right. But we also know how pretty much the open source community has reacted for for many years when someone tried to do this with VS Code proper. Right. There was always immediately discussion: Why would you do this? Why would you not mm -hmm. bring the changes back to VS Code? Why would you not work in in favor of the overall developer ecosystem? What really matters, right, is on the servers. Uh, okay. How that is done. This is right, how you scale, how you provide, in the end, lasting value to your customers, right? And what happens on the client, those things you want to trust, you want to see what is happening there. If you're a big enterprise, you want to see and, and pretty much audit those things, right? And make sure everything is, is good, right? On the UI side? There is kind of more convergence, right? In like chat, how you do that, how you show the diff stream, get the get streamed in. And this was actually when you talk to these forks, why they fork, one of the reasons they said, well, the VS Code API was not powerful enough to enable the AI innovation they wanted, right? Yeah. And that's correct. And this has, of course, a little bit this tension, right? You want to kind of change deep in the core. But of course, we don't allow that because you want stability and evolution. And but by now, I think things have converged and evolved. So I find it a missed opportunity that there was no collaboration yeah. on that, right? Because okay. uh, we are a small team, the other forks are small teams, and I think both talented people. So we could have done maybe something even better for the whole thing because the whole value is in the back end in the end. Yeah, in that regard, was it a surprise when these forks started popping up or was it something you all had anticipated? That was a surprise, right? And it's, of course, you know, a fork for an open source steward like kind IR is, is not a pleasant experience, right? Mm -hmm. And when you see about, and of course, you want to understand why, and of course, one is the API thing. What always made me jealous about them, this they have, don't have AI bolted on, they have it built in, right? And this is what a fork allowed them to do, which mm -hmm. what we didn't have, because we had to restructure our code that all the AI stuff is in this closed source extension, right? And to me and for the developer team, it's a big relief now when we no longer have to do this kind of indirection. We can also go to a really AI first mindset. 